Hi, I'm Dennis with uh, RE3D Tech. Another fascinating addition today. We're going to put in a filament detector and Y motors and a limit switch. So here we go. If you assembled your bot correctly, you'll have four T nuts already in back. Uh, normally, the electrical uprights would be here, but use two M5 by 12s and just bolt it on there. All right, you also have the filament tube holder. Use the M5 by 10 with a washer. And you're just gonna put this in the approximate center line of the bot. Just pull it up so it captures, gets captured with the washer. And then what I like to do too is kind of pull it back a little bit and then bow it in just slightly. So if you look at it from the side, you can see how it's kind of in a little bit. That's it for the filament sector. Now we'll do Y motors. So I've already got the bridge assembly in. Here's the Y belt. So this would be the right hand side Y motor. So you want to take it and start the belt in the pulley and then just rotate it around. Got the uh, M5 by 45 with a washer. And since you're threading into plastic, you don't want to over tighten these. Let's do the other side. So start the belt at an angle, get it engaged into the pulley, and then just pull it around, just like that. Now we're going to do the back limit switch. We're going to do the Z bottom lower limit switch. They've got the Z upper already installed. You want the hinge to go towards the front of the bot. So it's going to be an M2 by 16 with a lock washer and a regular nut. So one thing I like to do is put a piece of tape when I'm doing the lower one because I've dropped so many of these lock nuts in, uh, or the nuts and the lock washers down into the T-slot and it's hard to get them out. So I always put a piece of tape there because I'm gonna drop one, guaranteed. So you notice the white um, separator has, the holes are kind of offset. Normally you want to put the longest distance down. So hinge towards the front these are so small that it's best just to keep it on your index finger and then just push it on there straight and then just try to get it started
and you want to get the limit switch pretty tight because you don't want it to come loose you're counting on that to keep the table from crashing into the motors if it ever goes all the way down Take some needle nose and grab the nut. That should be sufficient. And if you want to go ahead and get your preliminary setting on the lower limit switch, just go ahead and while the table's all the way down in this position, is a good time to go ahead and set it. And then what you'll do is when you cycle the bed, you'll go all the way up and then as you're coming down, stop. And then the you want to reset the limit switch when you've got two millimeters of clearance between the, the bed plate and the Z motor. So the next when you raise it all the way up, the first time it goes to the home position, you want to dial it all the way back down. And then stop when you've got a two millimeter gap in between the motor and the bed plate and then reset the limit switch to that. So in order to put the filament detector cover on, you want to start the teeth in the bottom first because you noticed you can press it with the gap we've got burned into it. So start the teeth in the bottom and then just push down on the top as you push in. Just like that.